Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in example one, I said that induction is robust, which is to say that like you can do a lot of different proofs with it. So if example four didn't convince you, this example should. Um, here, we're gonna uh, prove that the number of subsets of a set with n elements is two to the n. That is, a set with n elements, we're gonna show, has two to the n subsets. Um, as usual, we're gonna start with the uh, basic couple of cases. So case one means that um, n is equal to one, and I'm writing instead of sliding um, animations because like, yeah, like uh, pre-typed animations because um, like this um, is like, uh, this requires more a free discussion, but yeah, whatever. Like you probably didn't care. So um, I shouldn't have told you. N equals one, right? So like we're talking about a set with just one element. So here we expect that this set will have um, two to the first, uh, which is two uh, subsets. Is that true? A set with just one element has two subsets? And that's in fact true. Like let's consider a set with just one element. Let's say that element is A. Then this has two subsets, clearly. Uh, the set itself, so the set with just A in it, and then the empty set, right? And you can write the empty set this way, or it has a special symbol, which is like that. Uh, and so I prefer this, so I'll write it that way. But yeah, like let's count one, two, yeah? Okay, so it's got two subsets. The set with just one element, cool. So we skip to um, case two, and these first couple of cases kind of get you a feel for how this works. So it's kind of useful to like go through them in this particular example. So n equals two here, and we expect this time that the set with two elements will have four subsets, and let's see. So that'd be two to the second, right? And that's four, and is that true? Well, yeah, like so, Let's say that the two subset, the two members of the set with two elements are A and B. Then the subsets will be well the set itself with A and B in it, and then set with just A in it, and the set with just B in it, and then of course the empty set. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, as expected. Cool, cool. So um. Next is the inductive step where we assume the given statement to be true. And of course, that means that we say um, that um, uh, first case uh, for consistency sake, um, case K, right? Um, and here, um, that's what we've called it all along. So case K uh, in the previous examples, that is here we let N equal um, K. And so we're going to say that a set with uh, K members um, has um, two to the K um, subsets, right? Um, okay, two to the K subsets. And I just wrote down like an abbreviated version of this writing, but nothing new, right? Um, it's saying exactly what we wrote, like at the claim of the statement. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So here, um, uh, and, and so in the final step, uh, case uh, k plus one, where we let n equal k plus one, what we need to show uh, when n equals k plus one um, is that the set with k plus one members has um, two to the k plus one subsets, right? Two to the k plus one subsets. Okay. Uh, right, this is what we need to show. Well, um, in order for us to um, make that argument for the case K plus one uh, very solid, let's first examine uh, the set with K elements and let's look at like what its subsets have to look like. So the set with K elements for us would be like, let's say it's like A1, A2, and then terminating in like AK, right? So, um, uh, whatever the items A1 through AK may be, this is good enough to represent the set with K elements. Fine. What are its subsets like? Well, first, there are the uh, ones with just one element, so A1, A2, and then um, uh, A3, and you get it, but dot, 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 and we'll finish writing these ones when we write A sub K, right? That's um, the last one, if you like deliberately write them in this manner. 
right? With just one element, there's like only k of them. Cool. What about with two elements? Well, there's like a1, um, a2, right? If we write all of the ones that start with a1, and then there's uh, a1, um, a3, and if we proceed in this manner, in the end, we can write um, a1, um, and then a sub k, right? Okay, a1, a sub k. All right, okay, cool. But notice we're not done um, as far as the sets with two members in them because like next we can write the ones that start with a2. And other than a2, a1, which is already represented, the rest of them are gonna be unique like a2, a3, a2, a4, and yada, yada. And then the ones that start with a3. So there's a lot more of these. I didn't finish writing them, hence the dot, dot, dot here at the end saying that there's more of them. But I'll leave it like this. Um, and then you have the sets with three elements. And if you want to intentionally write those, which is deliberately list them, then you can start with uh, the ones that start with a1 and a2. And so go a1, a2, a3, and then a1, a2, a4, and yada, yada. Okay, but I'm going to skip to like um, the uh, last one, which will be like the set itself. Uh, well, not not the very last one this will be like the second to last one because we still have the empty set right so like we have a1 we've been writing the empty set last so far so let's say that that's still the last one okay uh, but first you have like the set itself a1 a2 all the way through a k right um and then um that k is supposed to be in red um okay and then um of course we have the empty set and we're saying like we don't list them all but if we listed all of these guys right all of the subsets of this based on the inductive step we're saying that there is um two to the k power of them right okay cool and now let's consider the subsets of the set with k plus one elements first let's kind of write down what it would look like well the set with k plus one elements would look like a1 a2 uh, all the way through a k right so um it will have like you know as many elements as this guy but it will have one more that's different right like one more new element and let's say that that new element is like uh big fat blue b right okay cool um all right so this is the new element that wasn't in here first Notice that this set with k plus one elements, this guy, since it has like k elements like that guy, it will have all of these as its subsets, right? Like, um, in other words, all of the subsets of this guy have to also be subsets of this guy, right? And so that means the uh, set with uh, n equals k plus one elements already starts with the um, two um, to the k subsets that come from the subsets of this. In other words, all of these guys right here that we started listing, um, like here, let me be more careful. All of these guys here are subsets of this guy, right? We know that for sure. Um, but then there are new ones, right? And what do the new ones look like? First, as I said, um, of all the subsets of this guy, we list the ones that are subsets of this, right? And that's how I got the two plus, um, sorry, that's how I got the two to the K power. All of these are subsets of this. I'm being abusive right now. I'm too repetitive. But the new ones we get by doing this. Well, take all the subsets that are here already and throw a B in them, right? So A1 comma B, A2 comma B, and then AK comma B. And then in here also throw a B, right? Uh, throw a B in all of them, right? Well, you can't throw a B into the empty set. So if we get rid of the empty set, um, all the ones, the two to the K subsets of this guy now, by throwing in a B in, the, in each of them, we've come up with unique new subsets that are two to the K um that are so if we uh, write down all the new ones that are that I just wrote down right here, they're not two to the k in amount anymore. They're two to the k minus one of them, uh, with b and in, thrown into the ones that were subsets of that guy, right? So we have two to the um, k um, 
uh, and then minus one, right? But wait, there is one uh, unique new subset of this. There's one unique new subset. I said subsets, that's bad grammar. Subset of this that you can't create just by throwing a B into one of the subsets of this guy. And that new one is a set containing just B. So we add a one here. And therefore, this set with K plus one elements has this from the sub subsets of that amount and then plus this subsets of this with B thrown in them and then plus B and therefore two to the, um, I should not care about color coding at this point, but two to the K I will, um, plus the minus one plus one there is zero. So plus two to the K, um, uh, like, see, this is why color coding is annoying. Um, okay. I go to change my pencil and it doesn't like respond. And then I have, this is two, two to the Ks. So two times two to the, this part you should understand, <laughs> two to the K, right? And then this is two to the first, but wait, that is as desired, two to the K plus one. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And there will be one final example, uh, example six which is even more different than this. Um, so yeah, keep watching, take care.